Welcome back everyone to another episode of Victoria 2 Hard Darkness Zombies. Whoa, uh, 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 uh. So guys, we have just like I've got my economy back on the track. We do have some subsidies going on right now, but it's not major and I'm going to start paying back all of our loans because this is this is ridiculous how huh? how much loans we are paying right now. I mean seriously. The total funds or the total interest we have that's just not right. Dig deep and greedy. Alright, and Morale Crusaders. All these Morale Crusaders are just like crazy. I just gotta admit that. And we got more paper mills. Okay, Alabama with that. No. That's really stupid. The, uh, these, these capitalists. I swear, they're building stupid things in stupid states. Okay. How would you build that? Well, no. That's actually really stupid. Uh, I'll keep it, though, just because I like it. I'm definitely keeping this. It's 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 a very terrible idea for New Mexico, but I'm keeping it so no one else comment about it. Okay, okay. So Wyoming gets a paper factory. No, it has no trees. Why would you build it there? Uh, well. And I'm, oh, by the way, I should probably apologize for anyone that might live in any of these states. Although I highly doubt it. Most of my views actually come from overseas. So, but anyone who actually lives in these states, I'm very sorry about if I stereotype your state about what I think they have. Because I will be honest, I've been to only, at max, about 27 states. So I can't particularly speak for everywhere in these places. I'm just using general geology for my main guide and all these things. So, just so you know. But, and I'd also like to point out, if I do say something offensive about your state, well, just take it. <laughs> or go complain in the comments, that's all I gotta say. Um, okay, so artillery in Virginia. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, Virginia, Illinois. Artillery, yes, that makes sense. Okay, uh, wood in Georgia. Actually, that should make sense. There really is no wood in Georgia. Let's see. There's only cotton in Georgia. I should have seen that coming. Okay, so really, that should not be here. Okay, artillery factory still should not be here. Okay, there we go. Now, please, capitalists, be a smart decisions. By the way, how many capitalists do I have in my country right now? So I want to make sure that's growing still. 24,000. That's still not enough to where I'd really like it. But it's better than what is nothing. But, yeah, you guys could seriously build some smart things. Like, here, you could probably build, like, I don't know. What goes good with cotton again? I think it's fiber or something like that. Just build those kind of things over there, and you'll be fine. And more ammunition factories. Ah, oh, gosh. Did they even think about my economy when they were building this? Seriously. Oh gosh. I almost feel like I want to just like uh, stop this laissez faire style and just like blow them up. Okay. Ammunition factory in Georgia does make sense, but I don't think I'll do it. Just because it'd probably be better for these factories that they got more workers. Okay, there we go. And there's tons of jobs now open to all these factories. Furniture factory, let's see. Way to close down again. I wish there was like a button where I could just like see all the like closed down factories. That'd be really nice. Uh, that'd be another thing that improved this game a lot. Or at least it'd be a little thing that improved this game by a lot if I had it. Uh, but that actually makes sense. That actually does need to be subsidized because that actually doesn't make sense. Yay! More land becoming USA. The zombies are back. Oh no. Okay, so where are the zombies? Where are the Zombos? Okay, so revolutionary risk. Only in Jefferson City. Okay, everyone go to Jefferson City. Go block up those zombies. Okay, you go right here. Okay, and then my people have stomped out these hordes. Good. You good soldiers of 12,000. You guys are keeping our country safe from the Zombos of threat. That is good. Okay. And how are we doing on infrastructure? Well, actually, we're doing really quite good. I mean, we have basically upgraded all of our country to max amounts, and I think we're, doing, we're one of the most, if we're not the most advanced country, we're one of the most advanced countries, so I highly doubt, I highly could not see why we wouldn't be the most advanced country in the world. So let's go to South America, and let's go to Peru. Apparently, Peru is now influencing us too. What the heck is going on? All, all the South American countries are just all buddy-buddy with me now. I don't even know why. I mean, I, w I would think they'd be mad at me for, like, taking over their land and forcibly, like, you know, <laughs> not really helping them out when they needed it and just kind of stranding them out, even though it was for the betterment of society and 
you know, it's a very, it's, it's a very morale gray zone, but it was ultimately for the betterment of society. Still, though, I don't know why they are just like, yeah, come back into our land. We love you, America. Okay, the Battle of Jefferson City. Well, that's really ironic because we are actually having a battle between zombies and humans at Jefferson City. So that was a very, very good event right there. Or ish. Good event ish. Alright, so let's see. Fertilizer. I guess a fertilizer company isn't that bad. Peru. Peru, Peru, Peru. All these other events that aren't really that important. Around Crusaders aren't really that important. The new Stanta Bar, whatever that is. I don't even care. Okay. Well, we're making a good amount of money. That is good. And with no tariffs, that is even better. So let's see. And that should encourage my market by a lot. So, but let's see. What just crashed right now? Uh, California just made fertilizer. No, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't. Ugh. Okay, Texas makes. I mean, Tennessee makes some steel. No, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, yeah, that that does not make any sense in my mind. Why would they be making that? So, let's see what's happening with our democratic system, by the way, because I want to make sure that we are getting what I want into power. Uh, Democrats, Southern Democrats, uh, yeah, that's basically what I want. I do not want to have laissez fair. I want to have some control of my, go of my factory building, but not all of it. And, let's see, trade-wise, we should be, like, number one in everything. I mean, seriously, not many people are going to beat us in anything. Except for Mexico, who apparently mass-produces fabric, because that's just insane. Okay, paper we should be max. Yep, we're maximum in paper. Uh, wine? Probably not. No, a maximum wine too. Good job. And let's see. D -d 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 anything else? Yeah, I think now that we have kind of rested a little bit. You know what? I think I've just given up on trying to convert Panama City into a state. So I'm just going to keep expanding my uh, uh, influence. And even I think I'm going to try to go for a little bit of African conquest. Because let's see. Can we get to anywhere inside of here? Nope. Dang it, I want to colonize a little bit. I guess I can't colonize just yet. I think I need to first, like, colonize around the shores. So let's just start doing that. Let's just keep colonizing right now. And lumber mills, all that kind of good jazz. They're expanding some factories. That's good. They do realize that they should expand factories. That is good. I love it when my capitalists take initiative and expand my factories for me. So I don't have to do it myself. And there's a lumber mill that just collapsed uh, in Illinois. Doesn't make sense. Okay, let's go on. So we have lots and lots. We are teeming with money right now. Grievous insults from a little tiny country that really doesn't know better, I guess, because did they not realize that we could just go in and go destroy them at any point in this entire game? I mean, I'm not even like joking. We just need one army and poof, you're dead. You're dead. All right, but hmm, I am getting a little bit worried about our neighbors. Like, hmm, the UK, Russia, and Mexico, and UCLA. I kind of want, I kind of do want a land bridge you know, to our entire empire. So I can kind of look more better suited, but no. I'll gain some infamy for that. So, hmm, should I go on my conquest screen now or later? Now or later? Oh, great. The, Guat the Guatemalan rebels are just taking over the USCA. I think we should probably wait until the USCA gains its independence, and then once it gains its independence, then we should go in and like, you know, conquest Guatemala, and then go in and go take over the USCA. That way, it's like a divide and conquer. You divide the enemy, then conquer them in little tiny bits. Almost the exact strategy you do in EU4, except they're slightly bit better. Alright, Florida, no, that doesn't make any sense, they don't make chairs. Okay. And, oh my goodness, why are all these people, like, influencing me? Gosh, go away! Go away! Okay, we just got some... Some places done. Oh, gosh. Let's get that. Let's get this. Okay, let's just keep expanding. Okay, and... Just keep going around. Just keep going around, that's all I gotta say. Uh... <laughs> Are we about to... We could call that Rio de Janeiro. Let's... Zombie! No, no, correction, guys. That's zombie Rio de Janeiro. Well, then. I think we have to go send a group in to go kill them out. Don't you agree, guys? With some shotguns? Let's go. Okay, some wild crusaders. 
and the zombies are moving in again and I really do feel like I'm gonna have to send in more armies to go deal with all this because this is probably gonna become too much for my one soldier to deal with in fact I probably let's go send these guys over here because uh, honestly I think I, I probably need two armies down here and I've been neglecting it for a while and since most of Hispaniola has decided to be part of my country you know, it's a good, you know, we could probably just leave him alone for a little bit. Long live the United States and its cores. It's a mighty, mighty cores. Okay. And so, let's see. Fertilizer companies and all that kind of jazz. Oh, gosh. Let's see. Let's see. Why did you guys close down fertilizer company? It doesn't make any sense in Illinois. We've already been over this. Okay. Washington making machine parts. That actually can work, so I will keep that alive. Uh, American, no, this doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense. See, I have steel and I have iron. Why aren't you guys building it in those states? That makes sense. And Japan, I thought you guys were dead. Like, no offense, but I thought you guys were dead. Like, apparently you guys live on one island. And apparently my people were eaten by zombie cannibals. Or just cannibals. That's sad. That's seriously sad right there. And Serbia! Oh my goodness, Serbia is actually expanding! <gasps> Good gracious, Serbia, you guys have the right mindset for almost any other European power that isn't taking the opportunity to just, like, expand everywhere. Gosh, guys, you guys are idiots. Like, look at Spain! Spain could easily take some Portuguese land right about now and take all of Africa and take... Ugh. Just never mind. Just never mind. Just... Just... Yeah. I'm... Um, okay. So... Let's continue. Where do I want to go next? Do I want to go to the USCA first or do I want to go to Mexico first? Let's see. It's eeny, meeny, miny, mo gets a dagger by a stone. Let's go after them first. Okay, and let's see. Well, they actually like me. It actually take a really long time to get them to hate me. Let's see. Okay, guys. I'm not sure if I'll keep it in, but. Again, I have to be quiet, so... Yeah. It's time for me to be quiet again. Yay! So I basically decide off-screen that I'm just gonna go after the UK. Again, because honestly, the UK is like the easiest person to pick on right now. And I have like a core on them, so... Why not declare war in the UK? Why not let it fly? As some people say. So, let's just go in and go kick the UK's butt. <laughs> Uh, again, <laughs> but like the 16th time, I'm gonna also include some different men go of the thing. Expedition success! Oh, just, 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 just keep good doing it. We're just gonna keep doing it until it actually works. So let's just get some men over here. Um, let's see, who am I war with? Belgium? Bad mistake, Belgium. I'm just gonna say that now. Okay, we can actually support our, our ships a little bit. And I'm gonna go send you guys over here. Oh, actually, wait. I want the ships, not the soldiers. There we go. You guys have no morale, and you probably would die if I sent you there. So, instead of that, I'm gonna go send you guys to go right here. Um, let's see. Where is the British capital now? Like, seriously, where do they make their capital now that, now that England's gone? You know, I never really invested that, but where do they make the capital? Huh. Okay. Anyways, it's time to like begin invading the UK again. The UK are probably gonna go send out all the men they can to go fight me. It's not gonna work, as we all know. It's it's it's, it's just like this is just like delaying inevitable. And this region is a part of this region, so I probably should go after like um, if I want to get a lot of stuff out of the great out of the British, I should just like add a ton of stuff. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Let's just like wait a little bit. Get like Sardinia Pinmont. Okay. And more colonization parts. Yay! Rio de Janeiro. Create protectorate. These guys. Good job. Okay, and we're slowly starting to colonize downward. It's good almost blocked off all the coasts. This is all going to become American at some point. Because if you own the outside, you eventually own the inside. Let's see, does anyone want to come? No. Okay. Let's move into Toronto. Let's see, anyone? Ugh. Goodness. These British troops are sad. I mean, seriously. 
you can easily defeat them. And I'm having like an army to sit here doing nothing. So let's just let's actually get them involved. And I guess we can actually go send them to go drop troops directly on the British head. Though this is gonna be funny, guys. Watch this. Okay, new store. New store army consumption. Army army decision making. Let's get that. Go down here. Let's get that. We link up our provinces. And is there any... Oh, they actually do have an army over here. That's cool. I'm also going to go send my own army to go deal with them. <laughs> 39k versus 3,000. Who do you think's going to win? It's an epic shootout. The Battle of Banjar. And you guys can go over here and just go do some more capturing. Actually, you guys can go defeat those guys. It's not particularly of a threat to us, but it'd be nice if we go destroy them. Like, seriously. Destroy them. There we go. Okay, let's move in down here. Let's move in down there. You guys can move in down there. There we go. Now, I'll slow down time just a little bit so I can act a little bit quicker. Okay. And it seems like the American War for Canada is almost over again. It wasn't really a war. It was more of me just again picking on Canada. The poor, poor Canadians. And poor British people. They really don't know how well I can fight. Okay, and you guys can go right here actually, because I don't want nutrition values. Okay, you guys can send your land up here. Let's go let's go take out this newfound land over here. And let's see, we defeat them. Let's go over here. Okay, they seem to be retreating back into Canada. Oh that's no, nope, they seem to be retreating to the Rockies. Question mark? <laughs> it's kinda weird. Okay, they seem to not be retreating anymore, which is good. So that should win that battle. And over here, we got this battle right over there. Uh, you guys are going that way, that's good. And you guys are going this way to go crush off these men. And let's see, how did the British feel about all this? Only 6% war score, and there actually are peop other people involved in this war. The Ionian Islands are apparently one of them. Now, in all honesty, they will accept peace now, but I don't want peace, I want a lot of land. So, it's now time to start adding cores because, as I said before, I don't really care anymore. This is going to be an entire American army. So let's see, what do I want first from the British? I could take some land from the Indian colonies, but honestly, I don't really, really particularly think India would be our best bet. Newfoundland and New Brunswick are the first colonies we want. So let's see. Place under the sun, New British New Brunswick. Did they make those actual states? Uh, Northern Ireland. I think they made them actual quiet states. British Columbia, Newfoundland. You guys are gonna have to give me stuff. I'm not. I'm not gonna be cheap. Like seriously, I'm not gonna be cheap. And if the only people that can declare war on us, Mexico, declares war on us right now, I will have. They will have a quick advantage on me. But once I actually like mobilize, they'll be dead. So let's just hope for their sake they don't actually declare war on me, because, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see, where are you guys going? You guys are going up, you guys are going sideways. That should make an even deal. You guys go right there. Good. Okay, you guys go right there. You guys chase out these troops. Those troops are not even retreating. It's good, it makes my job a lot easier. Is there any British troops that are even trying to fight me? Nope. Wow. Just wow. Okay, then just go this way. Just go this way. We're just going to keep moving down. In fact, we might be able to claim all of Canada, or at least this half of Canada. <laughs> Imagine that. This is all going to be owned by us. <laughs> and we just got new states. Yay. Or not new states. New protectorates. Yay. Okay, let's make those protectorates. Yay! More land! Okay, just keep expanding down the coast. Okay. Do, 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 do. And we got more places closing down. But we have major income right now. So that's really good. When we have we have income being made while you're at war, this is a good sign. Okay, do I have enough for another war score? Yes, I do. Let's add some more. And the other place I want is Brunswick. New Brunswick. Why can't I? We lack proper jurisdiction for this. 
Brunswick. I want New Brunswick. Are you kidding me? It doesn't allow you to declare war. Oh gosh. Well, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. This was a good episode. We have we are starting our second invasion of the British, which is going to go swimmingly as the first. And I'll see you guys next time.